it's that fairy no seven and this is part two video of me winning the modern challenge with bunny zoo okay so last time we played first we saw first five matches of the tournament and now we are going to watch the last five which i think were um, more tense more exciting more complicated and there were a lot of uh, stuff going on with some complex decisions and stuff like that so uh, if you want to learn playing zoo uh, definitely uh, i think uh, this entire tournament was very good and a lot of a uh, lot of plays i need to do some serious thinking on and i think i played most well i think i had one display in the tournament i will tell you which one it was okay now we go to the gameplay before that uh, let me just uh, remind you for my dictionary profile you can find link down below in the video description and uh, in the in my dictionary profile i have some cyber guides i have two fresh cyber guides post mh3 mardu bombardment cyber guide and mardu energy cyber guide along with some old uh, cyber guides free mh uh, cyber guides free mh3 and I plan on making new ones, updated Domain Zoo, Bunny Zoo Cyber Guide, uh, which I used to win the challenge, and the Scam Zoo Cyber Guide, which I recently also drop feed with, with the updated list uh, with the frogs. And uh, yeah, okay. So uh, the idea is that uh, I have all these cyber guides here, and the articles I also write occasionally. For the same price in the medium tier uh, for uh, 10 euros so people really get a lot of uh, stuff for it and you can you can only just pay it once or if you want to support me continuously then uh, uh, then uh, uh, subscribe again in the next month I will definitely uh, do be doing updates and the new guides over the time when I find uh, time for uh, after summer, I have more time for that. Okay, so uh, that's that and now let's go check out the gameplay uh, Okay, so let's start from around six. That is when we uh, stopped last time Okay, so round six uh, At this point I was 5-0 in this event and I was playing uh, round six against Ruby Storm Okay, so uh, yeah, I don't have much to fight Ruby Storm, but this was the misplay I was talking about. It happened uh, in this game. It was not really a misplay, but uh, more kind of like a decision I made that that uh, that was really clear that it's probably not the correct one. Okay, my opponent only plays Reckless Impulse. And yeah, here at this point, I don't have any interaction against against them. So I say, okay, so let's just uh, play Kavu. And if they have it, they have it. If they don't have it, I can go for a kill next turn with the uh, with the tribal flames and the binding. But uh, I should definitely just uh, definitely just uh, hold the binding here and uh, tribal flames them face. I think that was. That was much much better play, and here I would be able to binding the med ruby medal in response to the ritual, and uh, yet they would not be able to do uh, this way. They were able to immediately play the fast in flames and uh, get the win uh, on this uh, same turn, and draw a bunch of cards with Ral, and yeah, that was it. Okay, if I played the Leyland Binding here on Medallion, none of this would happen, and uh, I would uh, I would uh, flame them face next turn, attack them with the Sign of Draco, and maybe draw something. I would again have Binding for the Ral, so I will have a more more chance to do something uh, if I just played the Binding on that turn. Okay, it's not that this play was a misplay. But it's it this that was much much better play to just go with that. Okay, so for the ruby, uh, for the ruby uh, matchup, I have two damping spheres 
these are the best cyber cards and i also have a soul guide lanterns and uh, of course uh, stubborn denials okay to fit those i'm simply removing four leyland of the guild pact uh, two plages and one rabbit one rebel flames so eight cards uh, all eight cards are very strong against them and i was able to in game two i was able to resolve the dumping sphere they did not have a, a solution for it so i was able to just jam my threats and start pressuring them while they were seeking for a solution for the dumping sphere but were not able so yeah that was about it opponent played for a few more turns and i even and now i even have a stubborn denial so stubborn denial definitely just uh securing me the win here let's say okay so i uh, make my kavu uh, five five here which means i have seven damage next turn and the stubborn denial i let them resolve the mana morphos and uh, yeah my opponent concedes after that let's check out uh, game three okay in game three same sideboard uh, no changes same sideboard no changes and again i had to mulligan and yeah as you can see here just don't be afraid to mulligan in this matchup you need you need the cards that win you this and i played two uh, matches against uh, ruby storm i won both of them despite losing uh, game one and i won both of these by mulliganing to four and finding the stuff i need like a damping sphere a soul guide lantern definitely you need one hate piece and uh, it's hard for them yeah this was a hard part here putting this blood crypt in the yard this means i need all, uh, only have sanders to uh, complete my uh, domain okay opponent played uh, ral here and i uh, decide to i have to kill yeah, i can't let them attack with ral that's like insta lose so i had to use a turn there to kill ral and then play uh, territorial cow after that my opponent plays Ren's Resolves, plays the land, pass the turn. Now I can finally uh, start attacking them with uh, Kavu. I have Soul Guide Lantern on the field and I'm also holding Leyland Binding in case they find. Maybe I should have gone for the Tribal Flames last turn, but I wanted to hold the Binding in case they. Uh, yeah, this was, this was crucial, crucial, crucial. <laughs> If if they resolve the blood moon, that would be bad news. But I had some options. I didn't really have much options. If you think about it, if they resolve the moon in this situation, I lose like for sure. So uh, I had to crack the soul guide lantern and try to find the stubborn denial. That was uh, that was the road to win. And I have four stubborn denials, and I find it. And I was uh, uh, rewarded for uh, trying to uh, find a play there. And again, I passed the turn uh, holding a ley line binding uh, exactly for the situation of uh, uh, exiling uh, Ruby. They played the Ruby Medallion. That was the reason why I uh, had uh, passed the turn with binding. My opponent resolves, uh, uh, empty the warrants, makes a bunch of these uh, goblin tokens so they can jump my cow and uh, swing back. Uh, but uh, yeah, if I had this blood crypt which is in the yard, if I had it uh, in the main, I would be able to kill them right now. Uh, but uh, it was still, I was still good. Uh, I uh, was holding stubborn denial for their turn and then uh, on my turn when i untap i will be able to uh, cast uh, both of my burn spells and yeah, here i cast tribal flames i have stubborn denial backup so that is the win
uh, I was able to find it here in uh, game three. So let's check it out. So at this point, I was 6 0 and definitely qualified for uh, top eight. So this, this game was largely uh, unrelevant, uh, but I wanted to play it out exactly for the purpose of uh, the YouTube. Okay, so. Uh, so we played it out, but uh, I was under no pressure to like uh, have a good hand here. Yeah, this this is sucked. This is sucked a lot, and I think I should have played this differently because now uh, I had the bow master to kill my ragawa, and now I wasn't able to get the blood crypt with the two flooded strands and. Uh, yeah, I was not able to kill their uh, bow masters, which directly caused me to lose this game. If I had a uh, bow master there to kill their bow master in response to them drawing cards with the rain, that would be huge, huge, huge difference. And maybe it would affect game. I don't know, depending if they had uh, more removal here or not. Uh, but uh, yeah, that was that was very important part of it. And here my opponent uh, finds a uh, Bogart Troller. I still didn't uh, give up here. I still continued uh, playing here. Uh, I have the Bowmasters, and as you can see here, uh, they didn't have a removal actually. So if I was able to jam the Bowmasters there, I would be in an amazing situation. But now my opponent uh, draw too much and. Um, they gained a bunch of life with the shell grid and the soul spike. So yeah, now my opponent also kills the sign of Draco. So that is a game over definitely. Okay, so let's check out uh, game two. Okay, so game two, this hand is much better. If if I had uh, some other creature, uh, I always go with a sign of Jaco. But uh, since I'm playing first, if I'm not going for the Raga one on turn one, I probably won't be able to play it. So I decided to go for the Raga one, but uh, just waiting to go for the Scion would probably be okay too. Okay, so I find Xanders on top. This means I can uh, I can play the Scion, attack this turn, and hold a Leila Binding for their turn in case they uh... okay. My opponent uh, they. They did the mistake here and they killed their bowmaster with the force of despair. Okay, opponent plays a trespasser, exiles my uh, sign on Jaco, and uh, yeah, they were able to kill the force uh, uh, my sign with the force of despair. So luckily there, I didn't play the second sign, and yeah, here I was expecting my opponent to play the necropotence next turn. So definitely wanted to hold the binding for their turn so I can. Just exile the Necrodominance before the end of turn so they don't get to draw the cards. Okay, so uh, uh, attacking with Scion, my opponent is now on 4 and uh, they lock mine, so I bolt them face and finish them off with Scion on the next turn, so that was the game. Okay, so that was quick game two, so let's check out game three. As I said, this this game wasn't really that relevant for me. Okay, my opponent plays Totsis, exiles the lane. And I was already qualified for top eight, so as I said, not really a relevant game, but still, okay. Uh, I passed the turn here holding uh, the Bowmasters. I think maybe it was better for me to just uh, play the Scion on turn 2 there. 
but it's it's okay. So uh, I play the bow master, uh, basically uh, letting one opponent uh, to kill it here, and uh, yeah. So uh, I played my second bow master here. Continue attacking. This means if they play the necro dominance or the one ring or their on their next turn, they won't. Uh, they will be forced to take damage with. Uh, because of the bowmaster, but opponent had uh, mid hook massacre to kill my bowmaster, unfortunately, and then they resolved the one ring. Okay, so I was not able to attack uh, this turn, and I waited with bowmaster until they tapped the one ring. Uh, but uh, they had uh, they had a removal uh, immediately again, and also massacre on the field. Uh, helping them uh, gain life every time they kill my creature. Okay, so now uh, I I was able to cast the ley line of the guild pack, which puts my opponent down on six and makes them unable to kill my creatures. So they can only kill my creatures with another meat hook massacre. That's basically it in their deck. So despite them having infinite cards with the one ring. Uh, they can't really kill my creatures if they don't get the right cards. So what they can do here is try to gain some life with Sheldred. And uh, they were able to do so. And they find Sheldred and the Necrodominance and uh, two Soul Spikes to gain a bunch of bunch of life here. Was Is it actually three Soul Spikes or two? Not sure right now. But they gained a lot of lot of life. And I was hoping to uh, find some removal here to kill Sheldred, of course. Okay, so my opponent draws uh, half of their deck. But I'm still in the game. Uh, I have the Leyline Scion combo. And there is a lot of damage uh, on my side of the field. And I can also put Flage uh, in the game. Okay, so here uh, I discard. Uh, uh, unfortunately, did not find anything uh, very useful there. Okay, so uh, I play the flage from the yard, dealing additional three damage to them, and putting more power on the field. Uh, I'm at twenty one right now. Uh, my opponent has uh, a force of despair to kill the flage, but yeah, that's that's okay. Uh, not a big problem, and yeah, the big problem is this: uh, my opponent finds second mid hook massacre to kill to clear my board, and yeah, at this point uh, I lose this game. Uh, I was not able to fight it uh, anymore. Uh, I still have Flage in the yard, so I continue playing uh, for another turn. If I get another Scion and uh, Flage in the yard, I can maybe win uh, this game with them uh, decking out. So, uh, but I did not find a Scion and uh, Territorial Tau was good, but not quite enough. I still had. Uh, Plage, but yeah, my opponent can draw so much cards at this point that all of this is not a big problem for them. So yeah, okay, okay. So that was uh, but uh, we I played uh, in the next round. This is the quarterfinals. I played against uh, the same player. Uh, playing the same deck, of course, <laughs> and uh, this is the this was the the game that mattered. So my opponent started first this time, uh, going with uh, Inquisition, discarding my Ragavan. Okay, so since I expected this game to go long, I decided not to play the recruit on turn two, but hold it for to play it on uh, turn uh, turn three. Uh, in meantime, opponent had another Inquisition and discarded the Recruit. 
and uh, yeah they played the nectar dominance uh, on curve and uh, yeah draw a bunch of cards here unfortunately soul spiking my territorial cobble and uh, yeah i go for the plage put them down on 10 life and pass the turn opponent uh, finds the one ring Uh, yeah, okay, so my opponent uh, has protection, but I can still play the Plage, uh, gain some life. And uh, yeah, opponent here uh, now finds the Sheldreds, and they have both Necrodominance and the One Ring. Uh, they also pitch cast the Grief to take the Leyland Binding, gain a bunch of bunch of life with the Sheldred feature so yeah that was too too much and my opponent started very strong so that was win in uh, game one for the opponent and let's now check out game two okay so as we saw before uh, my cyborg plan for uh, the this matchup is trim two bunnies trim two ragavans uh, because of their uh, bow masters, and just bring in, uh, just bring in the stubborn denials. That's all. I think uh, in the game three, I also brought in one pick your poison, but not in a, not in a game two when I was on the play. Okay, so uh, here I was holding a stubborn denial to take their necro dominance. I did not use the Leyland Binding here because uh, I wanted to uh, to hold that in case they play uh, in case they play um, Shieldred, but this way they got the protection for a turn with the One Ring. If I played it uh, vice versa, I would have the kill at this uh, same turn. So yeah, that was a bit risky, but. Uh, it ended up not mattering since I won anyway. Okay, so I had to pass the turn here. I exiled the ring when they tried to draw a card, uh, not letting them to are there. But uh, unfortunately, my opponent finds another one ring, again getting a protection for a turn. And uh, but yeah, it, now I have uh, Orpheus Bow Masters and I have Scion plus Leyland combo giving my Bow Master uh, protection so they can kill it, uh, which is pretty good. And uh, yeah, so I get two Bow Master triggers, ping them face, uh, make a 3 3 army token, and uh, my opponent uh, has Sheldred uh, in the blockers and. Uh, yeah, okay, I lose two, that's that's irrelevant, and I go for a Leyland Binding to uh, take the Sheldred, hold uh, Tribal Flames to go for a face, which was important because they used a March of Restless Sorrow to gain some life in response. So they went on 14, but I had Tribal Flames here to win this game on this uh, same turn. So it was time for um, game three. Okay, so uh, starting with a ley line of the guild pack, a silent combo is very strong against them. Uh, luckily, here opponent plays Inquisition, so they can't take my. Uh, Scion and Scion is definitely what uh, will win me the game here, but uh, I was not uh, in any hurry with it, so I just hold the Stumbler Denial this turn, prevent them from playing uh, Necro Dominance. And the next turn, now I was able to just surveil, play my 4-4 uh, creature, get Ferocious, get Hexproof, and then hold the Stumbler Denial that was. This is like very important just to be patient there. If I wasn't patient there and just jammed the Scion of Draco on turn two, they would most definitely resolve the Necro Dominance and the game would 
be very very complicated okay so my opponent plays the shelter here again i have option to uh, Rebel Flames, the Shellred, or play the creature. I think playing creature is better here because I know they can't really get rid of uh, the ley line. And I'm still holding the stubborn denial, which is the most important thing in in case they have uh, like Necro Dominance or the One Ring. So they didn't play anything this turn. They probably just should have played something. Okay, I discarded a ley line and uh, I play another cowl so I have definite uh, lethal uh, next turn while holding stubborn denial and uh, yeah that's it my opponent uh, concedes uh, that it against um, uh, mono black necro in the quarterfinals so now it was time for the semifinals Okay, in the semi-finals, I played against uh, Ruby Storm player again. And uh, yeah, as you know, uh, I'm, I'm playing first, which gives me my only game plan when I'm playing against Ruby Storm is just go as fast as you can. That is the only, only uh, plan. And also uh, just hold bolt for to kill that... Uh, uh, Ral and the hold Leyland Binding to kill the Ruby Storm when you can. That's that is the entire game plan. Okay, uh, opponent to go just only goes for the Vren Resolves, exiles two lands, so I can play my uh, Orcish Bowmaster, ping them for one. And I have a really sweet board here. And my opponent is down on nine. I play Territorial Cabo and I have the Bolt. And uh, yeah, Bolt is very important card in this matchup. Here I kill uh, the Ral, so my opponent uh, can't storm off. So if they had the Ral, yeah, if I didn't have the Bolt, this would be game over. With two Mana Morphoses, they would certainly find something. So yeah, that was it. Uh, let's check out uh, game two. So this time I was able to win game one, uh, even without. We already saw the sideboarding plan uh, before, uh, so as I said, uh, Damping Spheres are the most important part, and the Stubborn Denials and the Soul Guide Lanterns, Unlicensed Curse, don't go in against a Storm. It, it is useless against a Storm. It is for the mid-range fair matchup. Okay, so uh, don't be afraid to mulligan. Uh, as you saw last time when I played against uh, this player, I mulliganed down to four cards twice and won both of these matches. One time with Damping Sphere, second time with uh, Soul Guide Lantern. This time I had a Stubborn Denial. I decided to use the Stubborn Denial here uh, to um, take their uh, Desperate Ritual. If I didn't do that, they would be able to play the Ral and then continue playing uh, other stuff which could potentially be dangerous so I decided to uh, immediately counter the ritual there then I go for the uh, take the uh, Ral with the binding and uh, go for the bowmaster and just continue with the attacks here opponent plays ruby medallion I have another binding to take it and now I have no more options except just go for the second bowmaster and uh, yeah, that uh, this second bowmaster turned out to be really really important piece. And uh, my opponent had a couple of mana morphoses, a uh, lot of damage, and uh, made my orc army really really big. So um, my did uh, was not able to storm off. Uh, this turn and that en enabled me to attack them down to one life and finish them off with Plage for lethal. So that was very very quick win against Ruby Storm. Two wins against Ruby Storm and uh, two wins against Jeskai Control. Uh, two wins. Uh, so one win against Necro and uh, win against Mardu. 
uh, energy played all the relevant matchups. Okay, so uh, I decided I was very tired at this point and I decided to split the finals because it's not a big difference between uh, prizes uh, if you win or lose the finals. So we split the finals and that's it. So that's it. First time ever playing the modern challenge. Uh, going to the end with it. Uh, also bunnies, same as me, first time in a challenge and going all the way to the end. Uh, I was very happy with the bunny overall. Uh, I uh, What I wanted to say, potential changes to the list uh, could include like going uh, one or two spell snares in the main, uh, trimming on the bunny, like trimming one uh, one bunny or one ragawan one i would really like a ragawan though so i would probably just stream if i feel like uh, uh, this meta is going to repeat for the next next challenge i would maybe add spell snare to the main because all decks i played against the spell snare is just incredible and uh, i was thinking about consigned to memory also in this slot instead of one or two bunny but i never played this card before so i wanted to try four bunnies and uh, like the challenge was my testing area and the bunnies did well so i don't have anything against playing four of them and i think i will continue playing four of them in the open meta and for some specific metas i will probably um, uh, consider trimming two four consigns of spell snares uh, something like that. So that's it. Um, uh, Varna Kartal and uh, and the Bunny are uh, similar. They are close, but uh, the Bunny has some advantages. And the uh, the main advantage is it's better top deck in the mid game and in the late game. When you're on zero cards in hand or on one two cards in hand, and when you top deck top deck this guy, you are going to play him for an off screen cost, which means two bodies and if they kill one other uh, second one gets bigger and uh, it's problem they have to do, they have to use two removals to get rid of it and uh, it's really really strong and if you like top deck two of these guys in the mid game late game their removal becomes tragic like uh, if you have if you can put like uh, two of these guys it, it becomes a real nightmare for opponents to play their removals and even abilities like the flage ability, the bowmaster ability, all these abilities are putting counters on my creatures, and it, sometimes that can be really really strong. Okay, so that is why I like Bunny over the Nakato. Uh, yeah, sometimes it will be slightly worse on turn one. You will deal one uh, less damage. But uh, so far, the Bowmaster is not like that greatly played. Only in like Mardu and uh, Mardu Energy and uh, decks like Yagmoth. Uh, but uh, even against the Bowmaster, this guy is better than other one toughness creatures. Because if you uh, offspring it, then and you Bowmaster one of these guys. Uh, still a uh, second one gets two counters becomes a 3-3 and uh, still has a passive ability making your one toughness creatures larger so it actually plays out pretty decent uh, into bowmaster which makes them better than the other one toughness creatures so that is it uh hope you like the video hope you like the gameplay this is now the end of the part 2 of the modern challenge win or final split, whatever. And uh, I think it was really cool, really good content for the zoo players who are trying to learn the deck. I, uh, uh, some uh, uh, You can find here the my sideboard instructions for these most relevant uh, matchups. I think sideboard plan. Uh, was uh, magnific magnificent, uh, it worked great uh, every time I played, uh, even before in the league, and uh, I will do a cyb full cyber guide very soon uh, on my dictionary profile, uh, again repeating link for the dictionary, my dictionary profile is down below in the video description, and I will soon have full 
cyber guy for more than uh, 25 matchups uh, and uh, that's it okay so uh, again thank you for watching friendly reminder to click like click subscribe comment in the video um, uh, what do you how do you feel about the bunny uh, about bowmaster about plagian zoo how do you like this new uh, zoo look and uh, yeah, there's some really uh, always in every edition, every time something comes out, there's, there's like always something you can use in Zoo. And it's not a big upgrade, it's not a great upgrade, but it's like just uh, an, another mediocre uh, one drop creature that is slightly better than Warne Cuttle in a uh, few matchups which are played more these days. So that was the reason why I chose this card. It's slightly better than Nakatel in uh, two played like matchups uh, in the meta, and which is enough to make it better than uh, Nakatel uh, at the moment. I think so. That's it. Uh, another uh, thing, as I mentioned before, options for the main board: one of spell snare, two of spell snare, or one main, one, one side. If you have some, uh, if you think you can use Consign to Memories, then maybe that instead. Uh, Consign to Memories, uh, Spell Snare is better against Energy, it's great against Ruby Storm, uh, decks like that. Uh, Consign to Memory is better against Four Color Omnath, better against Solitude decks, be better against uh, Ring decks, and uh, definitely Ring decks, and uh, that's it. Okay, so. Um, that's all for today, finally this time, uh, goodbye and thank you for watching.